G'day and welcome back for more Stationeers exploding our furnaces. And um, ignore the dead black shadow on the ground. That didn't happen. That's, you totally didn't that's teleport rude. back out into the... <laughs> Quantum <laughs> shadow. Yep. Our plants continue to grow poorly or moderately well. Uh, so, had an idea, sort of inspired by you guys. Uh, oh boy. Shadow. Since you're yes. our resident green thumb slash organization expert, how do you feel about maybe either expanding or increasing or um, building a new greenhouse? Yeah, sounds like something I might be able to pull off. Uh, and Nev, since I totally boned on this airlock, if Shadow decides to build a new one, do you mind helping her with that? Yeah, sure. Um, and I'll I'll have a crack at the furnace setup, which you can help with if you want, <laughs> and see if I manage to blow myself up too. Does anyone else want to come uh, through the airlock? Hope, hopefully not. Did you close your helmet this time? Yes, I did. Uh, Nev, Nev did not, though. Nev did not. Nev, close your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> see? Resident organizational expert. You can even organize us. I didn't know that included babysitting. Well, you know well, us. Well, you probably figured that out previously. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. So, Nev, your plan here was that to make one of these uh, hydrogen and one of them an oxygen? I was thinking, yes, um, basically yes, but I was thinking maybe upgrading them to insulated tanks because fuel mixing depends on the temperature. I have a very specific memory of us talking about not putting the hydrogen and oxygen tanks next to each other. That'll be it'll be fine. Just being next to each other doesn't make them explode. No, it, the problem with what never done before is that he'd made a tank of fuel air mix, so it was ready to explode as soon as it hit the ignition point. It was all going to go up. Uh, if we keep them as separate tanks, it should be it'll be fine. Uh. It's it's not about worrying about the temperature, it's about the gas mixer, because if you only achieve perfect fuel if they are at the same temperature. I suppose we don't really need to worry about perfect fuel, but... You can't stand still, can you? Wait, I did... I, why is no. there a skeleton over here? <laughs> I, did, I did look up some, some <laughs> furnace stuff. I was just uh, watching you pace, back and forth, <laughs> and back and oh. forth, and back and forth. Yeah, it's, it's a thing I do. <laughs> I did look up some. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. This is going to be still a temporary thing, and just mixing the stuff is going to be fine. Um, what I was also thinking, maybe the furnace should still move one square further away from the base. But yeah, you can sort that out. All right, I'll sort that out. Uh, because yes, I think you're right. I think it should move further away. I was um, going to put down more um, of these frames, so I might just make up a few more. Did somebody cycle the airlock? I appear to be trapped. Oh, is it actually busted? Uh, it is actually it busted. Yeah. Capac was right. Airlock is currently disabled. Capac was right? How is this possible? But it works. I just clicked the button on the ta on the console. Alright, I am going to make some steel, some electrum, some solder, and then I'm going to demolish this thing. And, and you want to then upgrade directly to the advanced, or...? Yeah, so I've just got to look at what else I need. I need a tier 2 electronics printer uh -huh. to do it, which might make it a bit beyond me right now. Well, the advance at least avoids the problem mm. I was mentioning because mm. you have the volume pump, pump which is directly better. connected to the combustion chamber. Um, electrum, Constantan, and solder. Alright, so for the furnace, what do I need? Yeah, so I need to make steel first. So I'll make some steel... I'll make some, and then I'll try and make some Electrum. Uh, has anyone collected, TFE, have you collected any gold and silver since Nev blew it all up? Um, I think, yeah, I got a little bit of gold. Oh, there's a little bit of gold. And there's a... Who put iron in the grey backpack? Probably me. Iron is grey. No, iron what is happened? red. How is the furnace, how is the airlock broken again? I don't know, I think there's a bug with it. Gremlins. Oh, um, little tip that I remembered, which I haven't been using, but I wish I had been. Uh, if you're holding a tool in your hand, double tap F and it'll go back to its previous slot. I oh. thought that might be appealing to Shadow. Not why I'm suddenly having a revelation. 
I just oh. realized my filter carbon dioxide is no longer at a percentage. It's oh, that's why stuff getting. Oh, so you need a new filter. I'll get you some yes. filters. Oh. That would be greatly appreciated. Don't open the airlock door right now. I'm currently it's currently dismantled. It's alright. I can post them into her. I'll print you off too, Shadow. That would be appreciated. Capax postage just... service for inside is actually really useful. Yeah. Yeah. Doing some mining down there, Capac. Yeah, I've got a bunch of gold and iron. <laughs> and now my suit says fields of critical. Right. <laughs> so helpful. I think because mm -hmm. you had the mixed filters, it didn't detect it. If they're all the Wait. same filter, it works uh, out. My cognition is low. Probably. But I've got plenty of oxygen. Why am I? What's your filter state, TFE? Uh, twenty-seven percent. Heaps. Uh, why else? I think so. Where are you? Fixed for now. Uh, TFE just passed out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the filters. Ah, uh, let me grab him. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, uh, is the airlock functional? Before stuff happens? Yeah, it should be. TFE, pick up okay. your tablet. Can you press a button on the inside? Okay. They appear to be good. That's yes, changed. Weird. Maybe? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> We're making some flying pipes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is oxygen low again? What's happening? <laughs> what is your oxygen in your oxi in your air tank? 4,300 kilopascals. What's your waste tank? 1,798. Hmm. I don't know then. So I'm just going to keep fainting and then waking back up again. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Uh, presumably at some point you're not going to wake back up again. Uh, yeah. Go go inside, take your oxygen tank out and check what's actually inside with your uh, atmospheric tablet. Yeah. yeah. And if it's not just oxygen, you should probably put it into the uh, splitsy gas adapter and let it filter for a while. Yeah. <laughs> the splitsy gas adapter. <laughs> Thanks, Nev. <laughs> I don't know that that's the thing I wanted my... That's uh, have eponymously named for me. Canister oxygen, 100% O2. Temperature, 3 yeah. degrees. That's a bit okay. cold, but it should be fine. Pressure, 4.3. Oh Convicted, minus 49. And oxygen's critical again. What? Hmm. Are still on the inside? Um, TFE, inside. what does your suit say in terms of AC, off, air, off, etc.? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming inside and try to check your suit. It says air, off, AC, off, filter on. Uh, turn your filter off. As in, turn it so it says filter off, because that means the button, if pushed, will turn the filter off. Mm. Your filters are on, uh, have been off. How did that happen? Oh. Those helmets. Okay, am I dying? Nope. Okay, I appear to be fine. Now to have some food. You want to come with out, uh, outside with me, or...? Uh, yep. Close your helmet. <laughs> I think I feel like we need to do that for each other whenever we're in the... in the, um, thing to get outside. Yeah, we need to hang up a sign or something. <laughs> what? Friends don't let friends leave their helmet open. Uh, so what are we doing with the greenhouse expansion? Do we actually build something new? Oh, there's apparently new stuff appearing back here. Was this always here? Uh, yeah, I flattened some land out and I started building a framework to build the new greenhouse on. But then I got distracted by the infinite gold mine. <laughs> Wait, Man. Where did the drill go? Oh, that's what I need to do. There's a drill in the f shelf here. I, I imagine that's yours. Probably. How should I make you do that? <laughs> TV, uh, if we ask those questions of you all the time, I think we'll be here forever. <laughs> I think the base uh, is haunted. You think? Well, I mean, there are a lot of skulls being carried around by one of our people here. I'm just keeping them safe. From what? They've already died. <laughs> Somebody has to. Has anyone got a bunch of iron on them? Because I can't... Like, there's not much iron here. Uh, I've got a stack yeah. of iron ore. Uh, I was There's having to scavenge between the machines to find ingots, though. I'm smelting iron right now. I'm also severely low on them. Um, I need... I need another five iron ore if someone's got it. Because I'm going to uh, make steel, so that's why I want it. 
Um, uh, if you want to come down my mine shaft, I can give you some. Oh, Ooh. thanks, Shadow. I think. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did not notice they would actually pop out like that, but that's fun. Yeah, my backpack is full. Isn't that good if you're mining? And there's still more gold down here. <laughs> uh, where? Hang on. I will go to where you are. Wait, can I get your um, mine backpack is full? Uh, no, I, I need a jetpack to get down there. You can swap between them. Quick question. How many hydrophonics tray oh, do we need? We don't have that many seeds yet, so start with a reasonable number and then we're probably going to need somewhere upwards of 12 each. A reasonable number being... I don't know, start with eight and see where you go. Okay, good, because my reasonable was like four. Oh, we'll start with four. You Just make sure you've got a, an easy ability to expand it. Make it modular? Oh, that's my heart. Well, they are modular anyways. They are connected via pipe, so we can put water in them. Do they connect to each other as well when you put them side by side? Yeah, on, on one ah, end anyway. Because... They're basically a water pipe with a tray on top. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, I see. So we have to make sure we have water at the right temperature. It doesn't have to be too cool. it can't be too cold or too hot. And if we are making um, a pure greenhouse, we might want to ensure it's mostly CO2 at this point. Yeah, have the breathable greenhouse and the and the plant greenhouse. I think Capex started laying out some foundations back here. I think we can use those. Um uh, yeah. I we'll have think to so. decide which side gets the airlock and then we can build up everything else. Yeah. And we also have the cooling pipe right here, so we can also use that. Oh, yeah. Well, I was thinking uh, these ones, this Whoa. row here will be like a walkway. So we continue oh. this sort of row. Yeah. And then I was thinking one space in between the two buildings. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, and I was just going to try to find some plates to fill in these. Uh, we need a lot more iron to make all this stuff. Spitz, I'm assuming you put those ores there? What ores where? In the backpack area. No, uh, I, put, I put those. If they're unsorted, ah. they're usually come back. Okay. I sorted you the gold, but I figured you guys were using the iron straight away, so I just put it straight in. Yep. I'm currently I'll trying to produce to a whole them. lot of uh, steel. And then I'm going to try and see if I can make some Electrum. Alright, 400 grams of steel made. Alright, so there's the Electrum we need. Uh, advanced furnace kit. Copper, steel, Electrum. I need to make solder, which needs the lead. Um, and I need to make Invar. Not Invar. Invar? Invar. Con I need to make Constant 10. What's Constant 10 need? Constant supervision. Copper and nickel. So, Nev, you found nickel, did you? Yeah, very little. Okay. It's like seven. <laughs> oh, I've found some in Capax Cave. All right, looks like I'm off mining, looking for some uh, stuff. Yeah, uh, I was planning to go out as well, but in the night it's not so much fun. Yeah, Capax uh, Cave seems not, to have a lot of stuff. But when you know there's people at home, it's safe. So, as long as so TFE's off mining most of the time. I'm heading out. Capac or Black Shadow, if either of you are planning on leaving the vicinity of home, make sure the other is planning on staying. In uh -huh. case you get lost. Or someone yeah, tries so to that we can always, base. So that people can always find their way back home. Uh, oh, coal. Oh, I found some lead. Oh, good. Terrified um, I'm going to drill up to the underside of the base. <laughs> it's not a yeah, problem if you do. Got, got the frames. You'll see it coming. Don't forget, we always need tons of copper and tons of iron. Oh yeah. And tons of lead. Yeah, but that doesn't take as much volume. But lead is a magic material. We can make everything off of it. And what can possibly go perform? Yeah. We can turn it into gold. pipes. Fuel additives. Uh, sugar. Little... You can make sugar out of lead. Paint products. I mean, we also made drinking glasses with uranium, so... Eh. Uh, what about radioactive toothpaste in the 20s? Uh, it's about the same time they so used uranium to put green stained glasses. I should probably start heading back in a minute so I can prep for the night's furnacing. And uh, where do you want to place the airlock? 
for the greenhouse. Um, I was thinking on one of the corners, either to the tank side or to the other side. I don't know, you can decide. If you want to. Mm -hmm. Just a one by one block, so one of the corners would probably be fine. But then maybe where the pipes are? Uh, sure. Oh, ah. <laughs> See, Afi, that is quite menacing with uh, you pointing that drill at us. Oh no. There's a hole here. Why is there a hole? And why is it so deep? Uh oh. Oh, uh, you've discovered Capac's mining hole. I appear to have made a grave. Oh. A grave mistake, Wait. that is. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, can we actually make normal lights as well? Just for our own vision? Yes, we can. Uh, they chew a fair bit of power, so it's... Um, oh. Are you coming out, Nev? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but since you're suit damage, I've got an option to repair you using duct tape. Yeah, I took damage when the explosion happened. Yeah. Also, someone else caused me damage? Something about closing a door on me? Uh, who would do that? Indeed. Alright, what am I making? Constant tan. Copper and nickel. Come on. Come on, 20 megapascals. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's so close. I don't want to put more in just in case I explode this thing. That's a good thing I'm hiding underground then. Aha, it can hold it. it can hold 60. I know, but I'm, I'm adding ices to something that's already on fire, so I'm like, it's a high chance I could stuff this up. Uh, what else do I need? Solder. Solder. Is there anything else fancy I need? I've got the Electrum, I've got the Constantine, I've got the Steel, I need the Solder. Yeah, just Solder. Alright, Solder is easy, because it is low temperature. Oh, it's hard because it's low temperature. I need this thing to cool off. What do we need lots of? You guys wanted some iron smelted, right? I have already smelted up one. Are you trying out the new furnace? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that does look good. <laughs> so, how does this work? Uh, at the moment, you shove the ore in, it smelts, and then you pop it out. Oh! As long as it's hot enough, and the pressures are right, we can make up plenty quite quickly. So, is it wrong? safe for us to use? Or uh, right now, not really, no. Okay, I'm getting far away from that thing then. Oh no, it's, 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 it's safe. It's safe. Do you want to pick up no, some of this iron? Jado, could you please? Uh, my inventory is quite full. Yeah, so is mine. <laughs> uh, I might smelt some gold because that's really inefficient in the. Oh, sorry. Area. Yeah, once I when I do anything that requires quite high temperatures, I can then smelt some of the basic stuff quite quickly with this. Uh, in terms of like explaining how to use this, it's many steps. Just remember, too many steps spoil the broth. So it's kind of like, you need to put the right fuel mix in so that the fuel almost completely combusts, and then get the right temperatures and pressures with the right amount of fuel going in so that you get the resulting alloy that you're after. But with the simple ingots, it's obviously a lot easier to get the right values. Well, you can make like a really smart furnace later with a computer want to. When Nev says just... we, he means he. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> who's, who's done this? Who put this wall frame in this hillside over here? Huh? Uh, what? Well, no one's owning up to it, so... Oh! oh. Me. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you just threw a circuit board at me. <laughs> <laughs> but that wall was my doing. Apologies. I must have misclicked. Uh, or angle? Right? Slide it? I'm just trying to use the or these ores to lower the temperature of the furnace gradually. Or you can also just wait, but yeah, it takes forever sometimes. If you want to, it, to cool down, it takes forever. If you want to make some high temperature stuff, it cools down too quickly. Yep, pretty much. Do you have leftover piping? Uh, I have three on me if you want it. And there's oh. some in this cabinet. Yeah, just Nine put in the them cabinet. There. Yeah, it's cool looking at the base from up here on the hill. <laughs> our, our bit of the sprawling base. 
and little ants running around. <laughs> How dare you call us ants? Well, it's to be fair, he's the ants. one doing the most ant-like behaviour because he's digging a lot. Oh yes, I must have missed when ants started using tiny pickaxes. <laughs> oh, that is gonna annoy me. What's up? The line stone, the line. Oh yeah, you have to rotate the window. Because you can rotate it, so that they do. Like, you can make these run horizontally instead. Mm, do I care enough? Yeah, yeah, I know, I have to. <laughs> I... I was like, ah! Oh, yeah, geez, of course you do, you're you. <laughs> I am indeed me, and that is something I'm scared of as well. Oh wait, you're gonna fix- you're doing the roof so that it goes that way? Okay. Yeah. I thought Good. you were gonna make the walls so they didn't feel like a jail cell. What do you think I was planning? Plan Plan jail. <laughs> well, shoot! <laughs> oh, so the is we the have been hanging to out too much. Uh, damaged minds think alike. Huh. If I just throw ice into this, it should cool down. Or explode. Yes, I'm immediately going to look to see what happens. <laughs> what if I throw nitrox <laughs> in there? Because that's not volatile. No, I'm staying far away from that. I've got the perfect viewing spot. Oh, no explosion. No. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. You do? Well, Nev knew what he was doing. And <laughs> I'm putting Absolutely. ice in to drop the temperature so that I can make the solder more quickly. Knowing what you're doing is the key to failure in this game. Because we don't really have a specific use for nitrice right now, and I'm not pumping off any of the off gases. So I am holding on to them. I've now got a ingot of salt. I've got 100 grams of solder. Perfect. Uh, let's vent this thing. 100 grams of solder. Yep. Probably All enough right. to make one or two circuit boards. Um, it's enough to make the advanced thing I need to make. What do you mean, oxygen critical? Electrum constant hands. Oh, my tank is dead. That'll do it. Uh, my filter, I mean. <gasps> Why is this one at the wrong angle? Alright, electronic printer. We'll place this wall. Being made. Oh, yeah. So, volatiles are basically explosives if you leave them unattended in atmosphere, right? Uh, please don't leave them unattended in atmosphere because then we've got to clean them up. We're trying to clean up the atmosphere, not pollute it. Oh, power critical. But, um, they'll. They will sublimate if left in above uh, zero Celsius temperatures. If you have enough hydrogen and oxygen together, they will ignite if it's above uh, their ignition point. Uh, the temperature is pretty high for auto ignition. The electronics pinch are faster now? I haven't put it in yet. I'm still making ah. it. Okay. <laughs> it's making it incredibly slowly. Uh, and then I'm going to need to use it to make the furnace. Oh, I will just make some cables in the auto laser. It takes forever in this thing. Well, oh, well. Furnace. Get advanced furnace. Need copper and silicon. Oh, I didn't smelt any silicon. Uh, did the game just crash? Not on my end. Um, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I can look around, but I can't do anything with the tools. Wait, I can still move? Shadow's yeah. still moving around just fine. Yeah, everything's Wait. fine on my end. Yeah, did still... my drill run out of battery? Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the game's crashed. Problems, no, so. I just don't understand the game. Always blame the game. All right, Love advanced furnace is being constructed. Nice. Scary. Um, can we, until the advanced furnace is set up, can we avoid using too much of the electrum and stuff, just in case I need it for some of the filtration setup and things like that. I don't think I do, but there might be some of those, the volume pumps and things. Uh, do I put a new APC here for the new airlock? Probably better to have one. Yeah, you definitely want a battery backup on your airlocks. Oh, uh, for the radiators, uh, for temperature transfer, it requires a bit of steel, I think, if I am uh, making yep. the right thing. Um, what was I about to make? I was about to make something with the steel. I'm just trying to remember what it was. 
I'll make the things I need to make now, and then I'll make you some radiators after, if that's okay. Yep. Okay. But with the water for the greenhouse, how are we going to do that? Because from what I understand, we need to first heat it up. It needs to be at an, a safe temperature for plants, yeah. And a safe temperature would be? Uh, between... Is it zero and, 20, uh, zero and 30 degrees? Something like that? Oh, that's fine then. Basically, liquid but not hot. Yeah, you don't want frozen uh, plants. Uh, water temperature over 5, under 60. Okay. Oh, under 60. Oh, I have struck bedrock. Wait, really? Yep. So you didn't find anything from digging too deep. deep. I found copper. Shadow, how many radiators do you want? And is it water radiators uh, or gas radiators you want? Gas. I have the gas pipe set up here. And for the water, should I just route out drinking water over? Or yeah, should I, I make a separate should. ice crusher? Use okay. the same one. Makes sense. We've already got a ton of water in there and it means you don't have to go up and mine a whole bunch. Uh, how many radiators would you like? Uh, two should be plenty. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize you were right <laughs> <behind> me. <laughs> I was about to bring them to you and I turned around and I was like, Oh, you're right there. Save me the trouble. Watching your every move. We're standing in your shadow. Uh, way to reference yourself. What do I need for this? Oh, I need electronics parts. Uh. Okay, yeah, there's some fancy stuff I need. Why is there an empty can in the airlock? Who is littering? What? I put my oh, empty crap. can into the uh, cabinet. Same. Hmm. Ah, what the? Who did it's that? Who did what? I'm I sorry? just walked what? past you two. Who just chucked gold across the? Whoever walked past me as I tried to put the gold into the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get past. You guys were blocking the way. We were stationary because really you could have avoided us. I was trying to avoid you. It was really hard. You both standing right in the middle of the path. Hooray. Advanced furnace constructed. Oh. Oh. Uh. Huh. Woo. <laughs> I have found a way to put my head outside of the room I'm, I'm in. <laughs> what? Uh, doesn't on. look safe. What Where the? is this? What the? Oh, that's. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm. Doesn't seem very pleasant. It's fine. Just needed to get a look at the pipes here. What? So it's ba you're basically like one of those shoots, but. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how I feel about being called a shoot, what though. The... That is a really creepy side to turn around to. You standing <laughs> behind me, holding a skull, staring at me unblinkingly. That was fun. I thought it was. <laughs> so we all start carrying skulls. Doesn't make it any less creepy. We're just reminding Splitsy that he's the only one to not die yet. Can we spray yep. paint the skulls? I don't know. Uh, oh, have you no, tried one? Uh, I haven't, but that's a good idea. Just enjoying the early morning sun. Afternoon sun. The day isn't exactly long, it's difficult to tell. Are we trying to push Kepek inside? <laughs> yes. uh -huh. If he still has his suit closed, it doesn't actually matter if he's in atmosphere. Uh, but once he gets unconscious, we can open his suit. Uh, it's, it's, it's true. But can you push him over the threshold? <laughs> <laughs> You're climbing onto him. He is an immovable wall. I cannot do anything. Well, time to get, put him in a hole. <laughs> time, to deploy ex time to deploy explosives to move him. <laughs> oh. Sounds like Capax back. <laughs> I need burgers. Wait, how do I get down here? <laughs> <laughs> um, there might have been some pushing. Hmm, plotting against me. The wind. Oh, they were actually plotting to save you, really. I don't know why. Whoa, um, who's making insulated pipes? Me. Oh, it's funny when the space Wait, gets full and they jump out. If I stand on one of out. those, do I get launched into the air? Hang on, hang on. Aww. Uh, does someone have the label maker or know where it is? 
it wasn't one of the cabinets. Wait, did no, it get exploded? A... There is a labeler here. In this cabinet here. Uh, where the batteries are. Ah, there it is. I can name my doors. Yeah. Name's door. You really do need that <laughs> when you're putting together a airlock. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Launch me into the air! Almost. Almost. No! Ow. Okay, actually close my helmet before I go through the airlock this time. Oh. Did you not close it last time? I did not. <laughs> Doing fun, Shadow. Maybe. We're doomed. Lectures Does it actually pick you up? Uh, I think it's a bit full to... Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, that was me jumping. Oh, it was. That was me jumping. <sighs> I was trying to maybe pull off a double jump, like jump up and then jump up again as the pipe hit me, but I mistimed it. So I've color coded my ice crushes. Let's color code my pipes. Uh, when I started color coding stuff, that's when it exploded the last time. <laughs> <laughs> so the solution is to not color code? <laughs> Just saying. It'll be fine. I'm sure I won't explode half our base again. Why do you think I've been out doing all the mining? To replace the stuff that I'm going to explode. But also, I'm less likely to get exploded. Although, knowing my luck, I'll probably be there for like the 5% of the time where the explosion happens. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. I haven't started doing the fuel mixes yet. I'm literally just setting up the networks. This will probably be the first time I've completely filled a mining backpack. Oh, yeah. Um, what does it need for your to get the fancy mining drill? Because we might have the materials. Ooh, a fancy drill? Yeah. Where's it bigger? Is it fire lasers? Electrum, invar, and solder. Which I have made. Um, how do I determine the flow of a pipe network? There is uh, no flow. It flows Instant. by pressure. Or uh, determine, like, how do I make it so it... I didn't make it. Well, how do I pump it out? Let, let's say it like that. Um, if you just want to empty the room, you can just put an active vent on there and put power to it. And then the active vent will pump the air in whatever direction you set it to. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, so so gases within a room have flow, but gases within a pipe do not. Uh, it's just treated as a single unit that is instantaneously equ equilibrated when it's within a pipe. What, no water hammer? Nope. Oh, Shadow has deconstructed all her pipes again. Not all of them. <laughs> Only most of them. And what do you mean again? Um, oh, rude. Not, not to put you under any time pressure, Shadow, but we are going to starve. <laughs> not to cause you a lot of stress, but you should be stressed. You know. Yeah, I'm... I'm trying. What's the worst that could happen? We resort to cannibalism. Uh, Actually, I don't see how that's bad. Oh, yeah, I approve. More skulls. Uh, do we want this other portable air conditioner in the new thing? Nah. The new one will be externally air co uh, Well, it has air conditioning through the coolant stuff and filtering through an external atmospheric, so it should be fine. Fair enough. Um, is this power safe to use for the active vent? Ned? The uh, airlock power? I'd use it from the right. Use it from this side, from the inside yeah. of that. Don't use the airlock power. Yeah, you can use this. So, uh, just makes this cable longer, uh, but don't use the. Use the right the hand side, side, not the left hand side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is there a way to replace a cable, like remove a part of the cable, or do I need to completely deconstruct it? Completely deconstruct it. Oh yeah, you, you can't take out like a small part of it. Is it safe for me to do this real quick? Yes. Okay. That's why there's a battery in there. Uh, the apologies about the furnace taking a while. It's um, I'm trying to do it properly, so it's slow. As opposed to what reckless and fast. <laughs> kind of. One for you. One for me. One for you. One for me. Hey, you're getting them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have enough anyway. So now, what my what I'm doing with the gases? I'm just going to leave them with a simple insulated system for now and then I'll build the thing to equalize the temperatures after. 
if we are starting them with ice and it's uh, fully insulated, I assume it'll keep a similar temperature? Yeah, I would have thought so. Oh, I see the pipe fountain is going again. Yep, need lots of pipes. <laughs> what if you like try and block it from pushing them out? <laughs> Go on, stay, just stay there, TFE. I'm interested to see whether you die. Yeah. Well, the, the pipe just pushed them against the order. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Slowly being sandwiched in. Oh, oh! I don't know. Oh, it's launching the. Yeah, it's not going to kill him. Oh, oh I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. Knowing TFE's not going to die, I've lost interest. <laughs> Rudy Pascal, at minus one hundred seven uh, degrees Celsius. If the temperature reaches, uh, if the pressure reaches complete vacuum, then the temperature disappears anyway. No temperature without gas. Nev, can you remember what the volume mixer thing is called? Yeah, is gas, mixer. gas mixer. Should just be called gas mixer. I'm not sure in which, which kit it's in, though. Uh, well, there's one called a gas mixer, but I don't re remember whether I wanted, like, a digital one or something. And I just want the normal analog one with the two dials. Just set it to 66 and 34 or something, or 67 yep. and 33. Do we have some lights around the base so we can see at night a bit easier? Uh, if we've got excess power, maybe. I mean, we've got a lot of steel, Nev. Uh, you could possibly teach TFE how to set up more solar panels. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, 0 0.2 Pascal. Well, it's going to take a while to get completely empty. 0 0.09, 0 0.08. I'll stay here for a while. <laughs> well, so solar panels are actually uh, pretty simple. Um, you just go and uh, it has electronics printer parts. Yeah. The room is in a complete vacuum now, by the way. Okay, um, print I'm off. I don't know Kavik. how many we can make now. Yeah. So, what happens if you put the wrong thing in the wrong input? I murder you. They are labeled with the color of the thing you're putting in. So what you're telling me is you have incorporated no fail safes. Oh, we're out of copper too. Mm. No, I have not built a filtration system to try and take the little bit of something that you put in the wrong hole in the in the thing. No. The fail safe that I have put in is made a gap between the two, so it's much harder to accidentally put it in. I like these fancy colors. On the on the piping. Yeah, very fine. They do mean something as well. Whoa. I still find blue for oxygen slightly confusing because blue is water for me, but since water has fluid pipes now, I guess it's fine. Well, I mean, I could make <laughs> I could make the oxygen pipes white, I guess. So I think the oxygen filters are white. Yeah. Yeah, I could make the oxygen oxide side white if you want. Uh, I, it just doesn't really matter. Yep. I think I have a functional furnace system. I'm just gonna get some gases into it. Then we can start baking cookies. What do we have in the oxygen pipe? 100% oxygen, 300 and something moles. And in the hydrogen, 1.35 kilomoles. Perfect. The system is working. Now I'm just gonna shove all of our gases into it. Uh, all of them? Will we not need them for anything else? Nope. Oh, maybe the oxides, maybe. But we can always take the oxygen out of this system anyway. I'll go collect more. Oh. Possibly. Um, we have a problem. What's that? I cannot refill my oxygen tank. Like, I put it in and now it's literally completely empty. What? Uh... We have no more gas. The splits gas has run out. That doesn't oh, yeah, it seem... has to. It, huh? it does? Hang on, hang on. How does this pipe end up completely empty? Are we sucking it out to somewhere? Uh, yeah. It just got empty again. Output 2 is the unfiltered. Output 1... Wait, did someone turn the tap on it? Ah, the oxygen filters are dead. That would do it. Yep. Oh, uh, I guess the so... good thing about that is that we're pumping oxygen into the atmosphere. <laughs> Yay, terraforming. Yay! Accidental terraforming, woohoo! 
bad part about that is that I put a lot of the oxides into the <laughs> furnace system. Uh, so what I think should be done with that is only turn the filtration on when it's actually filtering stuff. Because I think we had it on all of the time, uh, which we did not need it on all the time. Oh yeah, because it's set up to run in a loop, basically, right? Yeah. So it ran out of the it ran the filters down when they didn't need to run down. We just need to run it until it produces pure oxygen in there. Uh, is there a way to automate that? Uh, eventually, yes. Right now, no. Just means if you add ice to the system, you need to turn on the filter until the nitrogen is gone. Then, when the nitrogen is gone, turn the filter off and leave it. All right. Get splitsy to put the ice in. Got it. Yeah, that's that's fair. You can do that too. You can basically automate everything you can think of. Sometimes it's maybe not worth the effort, and sometimes it's maybe something <laughs> for later, but you can. Depends whose effort it is. Oh, no. Uh, less than 0.1% nitrogen is probably going to be okay. I suspect that'll take a while. Uh, TFE, you're mm. doing stuff with Capac, right? Uh, I was doing the solar panel stuff. Oh, the solar panel stuff, that's right. Never mind. That's all good. I mean, I was, whole, like, I was assisting with that, so technically, yes. Uh, there's, I found a, I found a whole extra backpack of oxides, so we're all good. Shadow, I feel your pain when I look through these backpacks and see 12 stacks of 13, and no one stacked mm -hmm. them up to 50s. Yep. Uh, I sorted them earlier when I put my ores in. It's, <laughs> it's painful. Yes. Uh, I'm just basically going to fill up this tank until it's at near dangerous levels. Ah, my favourite levels. And then I'll filter it and then I'll turn off the filter. And we shouldn't run into this problem again. Hey, success. Yeah, connecting data cables is always fun if you see the solar panels and move. It's kind of cool seeing you guys and your torches off in the distance as I'm working over here because you're just off to my the right hand side of my view. If we do produce a ton of fuel gas or something, we have to see if we maybe can even afford a fuel generator. But if we want to be green, maybe we just put down a lot of solar panels. Yeah, I think let's try and be green because we're trying to <laughs> we're trying to yeah. make, make this place livable, not Earth to make it worse. What what's the exhaust of the? Because uh, don't we want to be putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere? Uh, greenhouse gases to a degree, yes. Um, yeah. But uh, we also would be producing a lot of pollutant again, and that's yeah. not very good. Yeah. But we do need some CO2 and stuff for the atmosphere to actually produce heat. But we do already have 25% CO2 in the atmosphere. Uh, true. But volume may, it might not be enough volume in the end, but uh, it's a goal for later. Yeah. That, that's us, that's where this gets too complicated, and we just us go, not yeah. dying is the current goal. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's make some fuel air mix. All right, I have a fuel mix. Oh. Which one of these is which? So what do we? What resources do we what need? Are you and how for? many do we have? Uh, copper was green. Copper's the green up the top. Also, I am sorting this backpack, so please don't um, immediately undo what I just did. Uh, iron is Depends red. if your sorting agrees with mine or not, Shadow. <laughs> um, basically... <laughs> I'm basically just sorting the internal inventory so that the full stacks are on top, and the loose stacks are separated from those stacks. So it's easier to see. Uh, so... We really don't have much material. Uh, if you guys oh. want me to do any smelting, I can do smelting now, but we need to uh, have done some mining. Should I would we... love some extra copper. The new greenhouse started filling up with uh, CO2 now, but it will be a while and we need to heat it up badly. It's minus 45C um, in here. Nev, if you want to, this big brown tank out here, that's all my off gases. It's got some very hot CO2 in it. <sighs> Uh, and what do I do with that? <laughs> uh, you can filter it out and filter it into the greenhouse. Yeah, that sounds annoying. <laughs> Why? Because it sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Why? But, but it's not. It's, all you need is a one atmospheric thing and pipe it in. Yeah, one atmospheric thing too many. 
Uh, how are you filling the greenhouse with gas? Uh, check the other side of the building. So, Nev, do you want to come and critique ah. my, my furnace setup? Uh, I will check it out. Uh, yeah, so basically I put down just in one filter unit with CO2 filters that just steal some CO2 from the atmosphere. But there's not okay. so much CO2 in the atmosphere, so it takes a while. Hence why you use the big brown tank. <laughs> in a perfect world, we would have like pre-filtered all the gases and just hook it up, but yeah, it's not... Yeah, 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 eventually that's what we will do, but I always have a, an off gas. I already envisioned corridors with like five pipes on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, the reason I did the, I always do the brown tank off the furnace so that there's a, all of the off gases stored together and then you can filter them from there. Oh, yeah. Uh, how hot is the off gas tank? I guess I will come out and check your 100, furnace. 100 degrees. And that's not too bad. I was thinking like hotter. Well, it's been sitting there for a while. And I deliberately didn't insulate it. You just have to be careful not to overpressure the new greenhouse, but I guess it will take a while. Yeah, personally, I probably, probably would have gone with, uh, with one ice crusher and double filtering, but... Uh, yeah, I deliberately chose not to do the double filtering yeah, just I know. because it's so it's, much more active. It's it's fine. And power consuming. I know it's safer because you don't have the capac effect, but... <laughs> um, you were I, literally the person I, who said, I don't trust this system. You don't have any fail safes. And so I'm, blaming it, I'm naming it after you. And I might have made the fuel pipe shorter, but otherwise it's, it's just small nitpicks. Um... So I was thinking about the fuel pipe and I figured if I make it a bit longer we've got more volume of it that we can mess with. I suppose it's like the, the backup volume that's ready to go and you can yeah. then use the volume pumps Without the on the of furnace to... It. Well, overpressuring is not a big deal due to the volume pumps. They are pretty slow. Oh no, uh, the, um, the gas mixer. If you accidentally leave the gas mixer on. Oh wait, no. I'm not going to do copper. I'm going to try and get mining tools. Oh yeah, the special mining drill. Uh, which means I need to get the upgrade of the mining thing. Uh, aren't there some like special like mining goggles or something? Yeah, yeah. What do you need those for well. those? Don't recall, but I know I need the tool printer mod, which I'm printing right now. Mining drill heavy. Yeah, that needs a tier two and Inva. Did you make Inva? Yeah. I haven't yet, but oh. I can. I can. I've. In a setup like I've used. I've got here, I have made everything. Uh, night vision goggles? What are the mining goggles called? Don't recall. Uh, maybe. Yeah, or something. Or supply. Stenser lenses. Steel, silicon, in canal. Bless you. Ah. Okay, it takes an advanced alloy. Yep. So Mark II mining drills are just copper and electrum. Uh, which means we need more silver. Alright, oh. can it, everybody go out and mine for some silver? So we we some. want someone to always be at the base so we didn't get lost. Like I, just... I can stay at the base. I'm oh. still working on some stuff here. I'm, I'm mining at the base. We need silver. Hunt is on. I haven't seen any silver in a while. Um. So I did an oopsie. Uh, oh no. It's a base explode. No, 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 no. Nothing it's, that bad. Explode? Uh, it's more that I'm probably going to need someone to come out and find me. Oh, you boy. haven't got the oh. tracking thing? No, I forgot to bring it. After telling yeah. everyone else to do it, I completely forgot. Nope, that's gold. Oh, silver! Ah, and I found, I think I just found some too. Though I found the tiniest little thing of it. Okay, wait, uh, Black Show's at the base, right? Yep. Cool. Okay, so, so 250-ish metres away from the base. Um, in the opposite direction from where the sun is, pretty much. We do have a compass. So if I head directly towards the sun, I should be able to head back? Uh, you should get pretty close, Actually, yeah. what is what is your bearing when you're looking at me from the base? It's down uh, the bottom right. You are almost perfectly 90 degrees to my right. 
Uh, does it say 90 degrees? There's a bearing just now, down in the bottom right. Where? I'm blind. So if you look down where your head is, where your face is, yep. immediately left of that will be a thing that says degrees and it'll go from 0 to 360. Oh, yeah. Wait, so I'm looking Ow. where you are? Oh. You're at... What is exactly 0 degrees? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, and the so base... I just have to go basically 180 and I'll come back. Yeah, and the base is at... Black Show is about 290 from me. Oh, you're not at home. No, I'm not home. Oh. That's less helpful. I'm out. I'm getting the silver I found. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the silver I found too. And I cracked my helmet in the process. Oh. oh I'm telling you, you should have repaired it earlier. <laughs> I did repair it earlier. Do we have to like it again. It again? Do we have your emergency duct tape? I did, yes. I always carry that. That I don't put away. <laughs> I've already used my tablet, so I can't use that. I've had injured lungs for weeks. But until you use duct tape on it. And to respawn. No. Never. Hey. You have to team up to kill him when he's least expecting it. You can make the security sprinter and build a gun. No. Oh! Okay, is that uh, silver? No, that, it's that seems bad. Why is the temperature zero degrees in here? Which room did you go yeah. into? Uh, where the plants are meant to be growing. Yeah, it's not getting warm yet. I know, the, the old one with the actual plants. Oh. Wait, what? Did. Oh, did, did you, you. Shadow, did you accidentally open up the cooler and leave it open? Uh, I might have. Oh, well that's going to kill the plants. Kabak, if there's a valve in there, you need to turn it to the off position. We'll be on the yellow pipes. Alright, it's on the red. Yep. Was it on the green? Yeah. That's why it was cold. Oh dear. Um, that might have killed the plants. Uh, Kabak, are the plants harvestable? Uh, the tomato is not growing and will never fruit. The tomato atmosphere is too cold. The tomato is in darkness. Uh, so how fast do flares heat up an area? Is the health going down? What health? I don't see any health. Uh, it's like a damage indicator if they take start to take damage. If they haven't started uh, to take damage, we're okay. One of them is only just now taking damage. And that right. is only a singular plant. Uh, is there something we can do to kickstart warming in Is the in air here conditioner in there? There is a portable air scrubber, but I don't see anything else. We didn't ever use the air conditioner in there, did we? Mm, no. Don't think so. Can I turn on the microwave? Will that work? <laughs> <laughs> uh, flares give out gases, right? They do, yes. Yeah. Uh, but if you which type of gases? Because if we you do, run we the still filters, have here. if you run the filtration unit, you might be able to use a flare to warm it up without I'll killing the flares. Flare. But you need to use you usually need to use a lot of flares. All right. The air scrubber is on. There's no point turning it's it on until the flare rain. actually run is dropped. Oh, I've lit a flare. Okay. Oh, you had flares on you? Yep. Should I do more? I'm giving you 20 extra just in case. What temperature is it saying in there and what's the gas mix saying in there? Uh, it's still at zero. Um, 10% CO2, 41% oxygen, 48% nitrogen. Okay, cool. So there's nothing else in there. Good. So should I pop more flares? Uh, is the other flare still burning? Yep. Uh, don't pop more than, say, three, because otherwise you'll probably have to go pick them up and run them outside because it might get too hot. Alright, got three going. It's but the very temperature has started to come up, though. It is at one degrees now. Okay. You may need to burn, pop a few more because there's a lot of gas in there, I'm not sure. But I'm always cautious about burning too many flares. Oh! <laughs> okay, that looks cool. The flare's burning in there. Alright, TFE, what's my heading? Uh, one second, I just need to swap out my life support battery. Okay. You are one more than one kilometer. You are at 35 degrees, if I'm looking from the base towards you. Okay, so 35, so that would put me at... 150? No. 210. No. Yeah, 210. 215. Yep, you're going the right way. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay, 
Yep. Looks, and this, looks like the... you get back here, you can see the um, Capax Evil Lair. Yep. <laughs> looks like the plants are recovering now. Oh, good. Good job picking that up, Capax. It's so easy for these um, these things to go awry if we're not careful. Like um, leaving the oxygen filtration system running and losing all our oxygen supply. Leaving the coolant for the greenhouse running and freezing the <laughs> the greenhouse. Right, we're up to 11 degrees on my first flare just burnt out. Okay, it seems like you burned about the right number. Okay, the flares have gone out, we're at 13 degrees. Okay. And daylight's coming, so it should warm up a bit more during the day. And I will leave some of these flares in the cabinet in here in case it happens again. <laughs> boy. 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 Are you okay, Spitz? I have a long way to walk home, so I'm jumping. I return. He's back. The Ooh. prodigal son returns. All right, testing number one on the advanced furnace and ignite. Run. It's only slightly hot in there. It's only 1,800 Kelvin. <laughs> That's not stupid. Yeah, exactly. On temperature, pressure, whatever it is, pressure, go down. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> you just tell it to. If you need less pressure, you can pump some out. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I was just getting him. I was just being impatient. There we go. Okay, Electrum done for that. But I think that's the end of this iron thing. Possibly. All right, well, you guys probably want to come back anyway because there are new drills for you. Oh, where did you Ooh. go? And I'm king low on food. Give me a drill. Just so, a sec. I have 309 iron from that one thing. Very good. Nice. Okay. If everybody wants to join me over here, you can take your Mark II mining drill from the top row. Just gotta sprint 200 meters? I suggest you transfer your battery from your Mark I into your Mark II. Ooh. Ooh. They look fancy. Yeah, they drill so much quicker. You will collect ores so much faster. Wanted to paint it pink, apparently. Yes. Also, TFE, you may want to turn off your tablet. Ah, right. I don't <laughs> need to track you when you're right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was very productive. We've got a fully set up furnace that can now be used, at least with care, to produce every single alloy we could possibly need. We've got a secondary greenhouse starting to be operated, so hopefully we can put down a whole bunch more of those hydroponics yeah. units. Once that one is operational, you can grow a lot of stuff in parallel. Yeah, and we need to grow a lot, because I think we're going to be running out of food very soon. And we're all then going to be like the skull in Shadow's hands. Yeah, not something I'm looking forward to. <laughs> so there's all that, and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bye. don't throw skulls at me. Boy. 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 Boy.